Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So a few days have passed since I posted my initial thoughts and impressions of Teenage Engineering's new radio, the OB-4, and I wanted to make a follow-up video, especially because I just got a comment that kind of sheds a little more light on the situation and the product itself. And also that OB4 video did get quite a few views here on my channel, a lot more than normal. So if any of you guys are new to watching my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. I upload every single day. Let's bring in the PO20 Arcade real quick for a little background music, then we'll get discussing. Alrighty, so I have read every single comment that I have gotten on that OB4 video, and it seems that a lot of you kind of have shared in my confusion and disappointment uh, with the OB4 announcement. A lot of us thought it was going to be something different, uh, even when the rumors popped up that it was going to be a speaker. Uh, you know, we wanted to believe it was going to be maybe an OP2 or a new OPZ module or a new pocket operator. I was really hoping for a new pocket operator. I'd really like an FM model or like a master effects model. I think that could be pretty cool too. PO Mix. PO Mix. That'd be pretty sweet. But it wound up being the OB4. And if we go back and look at the likes to dislikes on that uh, video, by the way, I encourage dislikes on my video um, if you don't like the content. Uh, also, you know, depending, like if I take a stance on a video, if you agree with me, hit the like button. If you disagree, hit dislike. So we had 143 likes and 19 dislikes. Uh, so there definitely are some people who are on board right out of the gate with the OB4, which is awesome. That's great. Uh, you know, Teenage Engineering just continues to put out products and whether we like them or not, we have to admit that they are keeping it unique and it is still refreshing every time they, they release something because you know it's going to be out there and uh, interesting and cool to, to say the least. And so I've read all the comments and I even actually had uh, Jeremy from Red Means Recording come and leave a comment on the, uh, on the video. So that was pretty cool. Shout out to him. But this morning I got a comment that really intrigued me. And uh, I haven't even read the whole thing yet, so I don't know if you guys can see this on the phone or not here, but let's take a look. So it's from Colt Dopamin, and the comment says, I've been testing the OB4 for the whole summer, and it's the best Bluetooth speaker I've ever used in terms of sound quality. It doesn't sound like a Bluetooth speaker. It sounds like a true, unique hi-fi product. If you don't want a big clunky sound system and you don't have a big apartment or house, this is all you need. Big smiley face and the ability to take that beautiful sound everywhere. Being able to play live radio without internet is a feature I've always wanted. That statement kind of made me laugh because, uh, you know, radios never really needed internet, but I, I get it, I get it. Last basketball season, I tried to listen to a basketball game and I could not get radio. Like, I could not find the game. I had to go dig for an antenna. And, uh, you know, that's just the world we live in now. You know, anyone over probably the age of 40 will laugh at that. But, uh, but that's just the world we live in now, so I do, I do get where they're coming from with this comment. Then they go on here, and to have an analog volume control instead of a stepped volume dictated by your phone or computer, but at the same time linked to the stepped control, you get the analog range in between and also be able to crank the sound over Bluetooth device. So that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't really consider that, you know, having an analog knob for volume. Uh, is a lot better than having, you know, a volume up and down button on the side of your phone or an up and down volume like, a, I don't know, on a Sono speaker or something. Continuing, the experimental functions are very cool. Just fiddling, cutting up samples while chilling outside with a beer is just awesome. I've got lost for hours just playing around. You can call me bias, but who isn't? This is my true experience of the OB4. For me, the device is revolutionary with a shrug face. So, as far as I know, this is our first really user account of someone, you know, actually using the OB4. And if everything in that comment is to be taken as truth, um, that's, that's a pretty good sign, actually. Uh, you know, I don't want to fault Teenage Engineering, but the announcement of the OB4 for me is where most of my issue uh, lies. They, they really, really hyped this thing up and, uh, and then just kind of dropped just like a smidgen of information, just the smallest bit of information with no actual use of it or, uh, you know, just a very brief explanation of the features. 
and uh, they didn't really get into detail. Now, some might argue that's the teenage engineering way, but I think in this case it might have it might have hurt them. They might have just been going after the people who are going to buy it no matter what. So I will say, if this device is as revolutionary as uh, the comment leads us to believe, then maybe it is worth six hundred dollars. You know, if the sound really is that good, and they say, you know, if you don't have a big house or an apartment, this is all you need for a sound system. Now that might be kind of a stretch as, like I have a small apartment, but I still have a, a 5.1 system out in my living room. I like having the surround sound and being able to keep it at a low volume, but still have the immersion of the uh, surround. And I don't even power on my subwoofer because I'm in an apartment, but that's a different story. But I hadn't considered that. And then the fact that you can take it on the go with, again, as we discussed, pretty good battery life. I'm starting to get a little more intrigued, especially since they teased wireless audio with the OPZ. Now, hopefully that feature is ready at launch. Um, something tells me it won't be, just because history with the OPZ, you know, they released it without a lot of features complete, and then we've slowly gotten them over updates. So I'm guessing it's gonna be probably a similar experience with the OB4, but who's to say? For me, it's just nice to hear someone that's not from the Teenage Engineering Marketing Department talking about the radio, you know, in a, in a overhyped post. Uh, just to see a real comment from a, a real, you know, user uh, was, was promising. And I think that based on a lot of the comments I got, there's a lot of folks out there that are waiting to see what the audio quality is like before picking it up. So if it is as good as Colt Topeman's comment says, then I think, I think it will actually sell pretty well. And uh, it might actually even be worth the $600, especially if the experimental features wind up being, you know, usable in terms of making music. There's one thing that does concern me, and that's the fact that there's been no mention of a line out. So if you want to like actually sample the radio and export that sample, you know, as far as we know, there's no way to do that. Uh, so that's a little interesting. I would have loved to, to be able to do that. You know, I could see this being a great device with like a PO33. You can get the samples from the radio, sample them into the PO33, then turn around and run the PO33 back into the speaker to play your creations. That sounds pretty neat. Um, I will say that this thing does seem to be pretty cool for like camping, um, for just playing music or having like a remote jam session with your friends. Um, you know, also for like busking, uh, if you guys know what busking is, that's like when people play for music like out on the Santa Monica Pier and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't think that's a thing right now uh, with COVID, but this product has been in design apparently for six years. So uh, well before COVID, <laughs> you know, who could have who could have predicted that this madness would uh, would take over the world right now? And I think that also kind of has a little bit to do with our anti-hype for this thing uh, with the disappointment. Uh, it's not really a device that the world needs right now. Um, you know, just with everything going on, but teenage engineering cannot be faulted for that. So it might sound like I'm kind of taking, taking back my opinion and I'm definitely not, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still disappointed in the announcement. It's not what I wanted it to be. It's not what clearly a lot of you guys wanted it to be, but it might be something pretty special. And $600 is a lot of money. And right now compared to the OPZ, I still think the OPZ is the way to go. Uh, just because it has so many features. But we won't know until we see someone like Lou Pop or uh, Jeremy from Red Means Recording or someone whose opinion that we trust, you know, gets a hold of this and, and can tell us what it is. But from right now, just from that one comment, I'm intrigued and uh, I'm definitely not as upset as I was. I'm, I'm anticipating this thing a little more now. Uh, I don't think it'll be a day one purchase for me, but it might be something that I do pick up uh, in the long run. You know, if the audio really is that good and if wireless audio with the OPZ is that seamless, who knows, maybe it will be uh, the revolutionary speaker that uh, Colt Dopamin says it is. So yeah, I just wanted to make this little video and, and get it out there for you guys to, to showcase that comment. Uh, because as, as far as I know, it's the first we've heard from anyone who's actually had hands-on experience with it that uh, isn't in the marketing department. Who knows, maybe uh, Colt Dopamin is in the marketing department from Teenage Engineering. Uh, but nevertheless, I thought it was an interesting comment and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. I've got new videos coming out every single day. Also, we just cruised past 1,700 subscribers. We are on the way to 1,800 now. So uh, yeah, you guys know what to do. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.